Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 16. I am confused for a second. I was like, wait, what am I reading again? All right, okay, so it's been a while. I know for sure I forgot how to say a lot of these people's name. So I will pause and try to look up their name again and how to pronounce it correctly. But yeah, I'm liking sleep. I'm going to be using my avatar as me instead of being on the webcam for the next few reads or maybe the rest of this month of, um, what is it, September now? So yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, oh, how splendid. The sheets are so soft and cushy, my lady. Oh my gosh, I remember now. She was able to talk to the queen on like, oh, on pretty much like having her back. So that way when she come back to her house with her dad and her stepmom and step half siblings, um, that they can't just yank away all of her stuff. Oh, and now she was able to get her own room, like an actual room. Okay. Come, Sanja, you ought to have one of the new maids do that. I do not have, I have not one, but two after all. <gasps> Absolutely not, my lady. They've got a long way to go yet. Oh, I shan't trust them with anything that touches your body until they prove themselves. Oh, they're allowed into the study and not no further. Suit yourself, Sancha. Huh? Huh? <gasps> oh, dang, she is mad. Arabella? I'm the queen in this life, episode 16. Huh. Don't think for a moment that I came here to play. I'm only here to keep an eye on you and make sure you're not up to any funny business. She must have been bored. I don't blame her. No one in this household seems to have any time for the girl. Oh, hold on. Baby's crying. Sorry if you guys hear some squeaking. It's because I have my volume on for my baby cam, so... Okay. Ippolito is a cardinal's only son and the eldest. Isabella is a cardinal's pride and joy that he can wed off to a powerful household. As such, the two elder siblings receive all the cardinals de Mare and Lucrezia's love and attention. Whereas Arabella is seen as somewhat of a nuisance with no apparent value as of yet. That is so crappy. I pity her. I should humor her at least. I see you're holding an, a lute. Do you like to play? Hmm. You clearly know nothing about me. I am a prodigy of the lute. Ta-da! Oh, I never knew you had a gift for music. I'm quite the composer too. I'll have you know. A composer? Oh, so she plays beautifully. You mean that was an original piece that you composed yourself? <gasps> Miss Arabella, that was amazing. Hmm, it's hardly impressive. <laughs> Judging by your of obvious talent, perhaps you could ask mother and father to buy you a different instru instrument to play. I imagine that a pipe organ might be better for composing with. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I do need a pipe organ if I'm to arrange this piece to play at mass. But mother says it's too expensive to buy for a mere girl to play. That's why she won't buy me one. It's not like Isabella's ever going to play the organ. Hmm. Even so, you should try to persuade Isabella to ask for one. If it comes from Isabella, I'm sure Mother would approve without a word. 
<sighs> so she knows her parents love Isabella more than her. Ugh. It's such a crappy feeling. Like, to know that. Okay, like for me, I'm the eldest, you know, and because like for me, I was an accidental child, like you know, the oopsie baby. And yeah, so growing up, my parents would always favor my sister, which she is the middle child, but they always like, oh, you know, my sister is her, their favorite child and all this stuff. And it's really hurtful to hear, you know, obviously now that we're grown, my parents would be like, oh, you know, Crystal, you know, CKT is my favorite or all of you guys are my favorite, you know, but it also hurts my sister's feeling now. And I was like, ah, don't tell us that, you know, like just tell us that you love us. Don't tell me who's your favorite. Like you can keep that to yourself. You know very well who's your favorite. We can see it, but don't do that. Don't make, don't pit us against each other because growing up, my sister saw it like that. I didn't. I just saw it as like, oh, I just want to be loved, you know, because they did remind me that I was an accidental child. <sighs> On second thought, why must I feel pity for a child who has everything that I never had? Should she be care grateful, if anything? Um, dear sister? What is it, Arabella? W would you mind asking mother if we could buy a pipe organ? Uh, Arabella, you know that a pipe organ isn't some child's toy to be bought and sold for your own amusement. Such extravagance is a sin that reflects poorly on a lady of good standing, you know. It's not extravagance. I'm going to use it for my music. Surely Isabella's expensive form made makeup and trinkets are much more of an extravagance. Ugh. Still, it's entirely in character for her to be a brazen hypocrite. Isabella, frankly, I was struck by the sheer be beauty of the hymn that Arabella composed. It far surpasses anything that one might expect from a child her age. Araba, Arabella, would you care to play it for us? Uh-huh. Oh, sure. Just, oh. You mean, you really wrote this yourself? Of course. For what purpose? as a hymn to be played at mass. I have yet to finish it though. Uh, is she gonna steal it? It looks like she's gonna steal this. I see, Arabella. Shall we have a little sisterly chat? Among real sisters, I mean? Uh, Ariadne. Could you give us a moment? Arabella. A family's reputation is only as good as that, as that of the most worthy member. You understand, don't you? What I mean is, my glory is yours and yours is mine. <laughs> After all, we're full-blooded sisters. Ugh, what a snake. I don't like her. I hear that the young lady Damer is going to be playing a hymn that she wrote herself for the mass. Oh my, how talented those Damer girls are. One is quite the accomplished theologist already. And now another has shown herself as an inspiring composer. She possessed of both beauty and the gift of music. Quite the exceptional com combination indeed. Oh my gosh, this prick is going to take her sister's music and play it that 
the sister composed and she's gonna play and say that she did it oh i wish i could deck her right in the throat isabella de Mer is such a gifted debutante <laughs> thank you for coming uh? oh camellia you're early i wouldn't miss it for the world miss de Mer. i must thank you for the invitation of course, this is my first recital of an original. Who else would I invite other than you, a renowned co connoisseur of music? And I see you accompanied by your fiancé, Ottavio. It's been quite some time. <laughs> You're as radiant as ever, Isabella. Uh? -uh. They're flirting. Uh? -uh. She's jealous. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. A best of luck, Miss, Miss El Isabella. Thank you. <laughs> now, shall we begin? <laughs> Ariadne, I won't let you steal the limelight again. It's all be mine once more. I'll take back all the glory she stole from me. <laughs> Oh, poor girl. <sighs> to be continued. Okay, well, after this, I hope this little girl realizes that how much of a snake her full bloody sister is because now she needs to she needs to shine. She needs an opportunity to shine because being a third child and for gone, which is kind of different because normally the last child is like most loved because that's the baby, but she's pretty much the forgotten child. And that sucks. And her sister, who is, has all these beauty and grace, or you know, is taking everything. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!